welcome back guys to another video hammock trolls here in today's video i'm going to be installing my 51 tooth rear sprocket and my new heavy duty volar non-o-ring chain um and these are the tools that i'm going to be using and the reason why i'm doing this at night is because i just wanted to get it over with and we got the motion light over here so it's going to be focusing on the back of the bike so it'll provide us enough light so that you guys can see what's going on and uh yeah let's get into this video all right guys so this is the part that we're going to be taking off right here this little part uh requires an allen wrench and underneath it requires a phillips head screw to take this chain cover off and then i'll use this wrench to pull this off all right guys so uh this is what i'll be using i will be using a phillips head screwdriver this uh, allen wrench right here and the wrench right here that i'm going to be using all right so we got the allen wrench we're just gonna get this off all right, so we got this off. Just took the shifter off. Just gonna turn this back in and uh, place it on the ground. All right, now that I uh, got this out with the Phillips head screwdriver, I'm gonna place it over here. And next I'm gonna get this part out with a wrench. Yes, it's not the right bolt, but it just, just is good. All right, now we got the chain guard. All right, so now that we got this chain cover off, uh, it's gonna be easier when I install the new chain on. So now that's off, I'm gonna come over to this other side. Uh, we're gonna need a one inch uh, socket with a wrench and then we're gonna take this thing off. So some of these things, on uh, bolts on bikes, let's say for example, for uh, axles on the rear part of the bike that holds your tire in place, you can't uh, untighten by your hand. So times like these, you're gonna wanna use your foot. And it just gets it off just like that. <clears throat> All right, now let's uh, get the stacks bolt off. All right, so this is a tricky part. Since my uh, stock chain doesn't have a master link that you just clip into place, I'm probably gonna have to just get something like this, metal, uh, hard enough, and then you just get a hammer, you bang it like that, and you get uh, individually this thing off. Pop this off, slide it out, and then you can put your new chain on. All right, guys, so I just got the chain off. So this is what happened. I had, oh, the thing fell. I had to get the chain off by using a power tool because it was just such a pain to like do the old method with without using a regular chain tool. So after I got that off, I uh, got this brake part off and just pulled it off. But before you do that, you have to undo this and then you can pull it off. So yeah, got the tire off. Uh, now we're going to change the sprocket and we should be good. All right, guys, so we just got the first bolt out. Um, when you take these out, you're going to want to take it out in a star pattern because it just makes it easier and yeah, everyone just does it that way. Um, after you put this on, the on wrench, you'll come on the other side with a wrench and um, just pop that loose and what will come out of it is a, use your bolt, your washer, and bolt on the other side. But yeah, pretty simple. So let's get these out and put that new sprocket on. All right guys, so you got it. So excited to put this new 51 sprocket on. You can see the difference between this. Oh yeah, the 51 is way bigger. <laughs> Gonna have a lot more torque with this bad boy. Let's unbox it and uh, let's get to putting it on. An exact fit. It's gonna look so good. It's gonna be so powerful. All right, let's put these bolts on and install that chain. Well guys, we finally put it together. It's looking good, 51 tooth sprocket. Uh, we're gonna flip this over to the side. Put this on. All right, now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna put it back on the bike. Just like that. And once that is on there, you're gonna wanna get your axle bolt. You're gonna slide it through the other side. Right through it. Mm. It's probably gonna take a couple times, but after you do that, you get your other thing. You push this washer in, in and it will go through like that. That easy. All right, so now we got that in. Now it's gonna oh, tighten this back up. And now your rear drum brake is back to working. Oh, let me slide that in. Now it's back to working. 
All right, now we're gonna uh, unbox the new Volar Heavy Duty Nano Ring Chain. Drop chain. <laughs> Ooh, that is nice. Wow. All right, let's go uh, install this onto the bike. It is a new day uh, outside with the 150F. Uh, as you can see, I uh, got that rear tire on the bike now. All I had to do was slide that axle in right there. I'm going to be eliminating this bolt, the bolt, this little connector right here to make the master link slide through that and just clip that in. And then I will have a working chain and then we'll see how much power this thing has after. All right, so we got Caleb here. He has the chain breaker and this is how you work one. So you clamp it on there and then you spin this uh, rod in the back after you got it clamped and then it pushes the little pins out on the chain that connect the chain. Well guys, it is now a couple hours later. Uh, just finished off the chain here. Looking good, heavy duty, non o-ring with the 51 tooth sprocket. Uh, right now, I just split up the chain. Uh, thanks to some other people who helped me out with that. Uh, now I'm gonna put on this master link. I'm gonna slide this in right here. There it is. All right, it's all slid in. Yep, in a place. Slam that on there. Perfect. And then the master link. So what you do with the master link is you get this part right here, and you're gonna do this, clamp it like that, and that should be good. Okay, so now that I got the master link on, next I am going to be putting on this part right here. This is how you adjust your chain. And uh, next you're gonna put on the washer and then next you're going to put on your very important nut that goes on this because this is what holds your tire up this is what holds your tire and everything in place all right so after that is on you're going to want to pull your chain back to where it's tight enough just like this just pull it back make sure it is even and then you can uh, adjust your chain okay so after you got all this adjusted i got mine adjusted to about 28 not that it's important, but that's just uh, how mine needs to be adjusted. Uh, after you do that, you're gonna, of course you're gonna wanna tighten your bolt. After you got everything done at the back, everything's tightened up, you got your new chain and sprocket on. Now you can finish up by putting on your sprocket guard and your shifter. Well guys, that concludes it for today's video. Uh, I finally got that 51 tooth sprocket on there with that new heavy duty chain. Can't wait to be able to ride again with more power. Maybe I'll probably keep up with the 85 for once. And uh, yeah, that concludes it for tonight's video. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave that like button. Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace.